but congratulations oh, yeah. um yeah you've uh, you are on a on a on a very interesting journey aren't you thank you thank you yeah it is it is quite uh, a very interesting one um, mm-hmm. one thing i think about this is that um i never knew that it would be would come to this point mm-hmm. <laughs> but i've always known that this is what i want so it's great that things are happening mm, 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 mm. now obviously people would have seen you seen you on television but they wouldn't necessarily know you know the the back story you know um you know tell us about kind of your humble beginnings before you got to the point of uh, either being pushed or deciding <laughs> to um, enter the competition you know of your own volition so yeah just tell us a bit, little bit about yourself where you come from your upbringing that kind of stuff just top line yeah um i'm i come from a small town called utenek um come from a big family uh i have four four siblings i have mm-hmm. four siblings and many family members and no. most of the time we all lived together we all lived in my grandmother's house mm-hmm. and um grew up in a church uh we love church my grandfather was a priest mm-hmm. um um my family loved music started singing at a very very young age how do you know so in choirs sorry how old are you yeah i'm 22 wow okay <laughs> i'm 22 yeah that's no, it's great it's a good age I forget. Yeah, it is. It is a good age. It is a good age. I'm not very happy to be 22. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've been singing all my life. Okay. And when when was the decision to enter this competition that obviously has, you know, it's got an extraordinary reputation, good and bad. And what I mean by bad is, um, you know, even... I, th- I think certainly from my perspective, the most successful idols are not necessarily the ones who won. Um, it, it seems to me that yeah. the, the vast majority are the ones that kind of come into like the, you know, the, the, the finalists. Um, and I don't know quite why that is, um, but it's, yeah, it's just an interesting, and it's a global thing. I mean, it's um, in the States and in, and in the UK, um, the guys who kind of, come second and third and fourth kind of thing are the ones that you know certainly from my perspective uh shine through um certainly when it comes to establishing a career for themselves um, so how how was that experience yeah. for you it was great it was great um i think I, i went there at a very young age and there was a lot that i needed to learn in order for me to come to this point in my life where I'm I'm firm in my talent to know what mm. I want. Mm. I'm mm. very sure about who I am. I had a I had a lot to discover about myself back then and I'm I'm glad that um I did not win because also I was very young. I don't know how I would have handled it. Yeah. I've had all that all that so True. I think top 5 um was great. Mm. Um, went home and went back to school. <laughs> I mm. had to finish my trick. Yeah. And it's just like Yeah, I just decided, you know what, music is what I want to do. I dropped out of I started studying at Varsity mm-hmm. College. I started studying education. Okay. And yeah, it was like yeah. literally like because 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 you know I always wanted to be a teacher at some, at some point in my life. I was like, I want to be a teacher, mm-hmm. but then there's another thing, there's another thing which is music which is like over overpowering this passion mm-hmm. of teaching. But and then I just had to drop out. Well, you know what they say, Louis. There's a there's a what very, do they say? there's a famous saying that, uh, and I can't remember who actually said it, but it's um, I've referenced it throughout my life. Is that basically you don't choose music; music chooses you. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Music <laughs> definitely chose me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I just had to kind of do it. That's why. Um, I'm I'm here I'm here today man. I just had to work hard. And did your family support your decision? Yeah, um obviously you know not entirely because my parents my parents wanted me to to get an education. 
mm. and go to school and kind of have a solid plan because mm. music you never know what's going to happen tomorrow you, don't. you never know your career might be might blow up next thing nothing is happening in your life so mm, mm, mm. um they really wanted me to get uh, an education but when they realized that this is really what i'm gonna do and there's no there's no plan b mm. there was always a always a argument about hey, so you're gonna have a plan b you're gonna have a plan b and i was like no nah, um this is my plan a and i'm there's nothing else i can do about it right now this is gonna be yeah. my life yeah yeah, and you and commit, I'm you gonna focus commit. on this plan A. Hmm. Then there's no way it's not gonna work out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and um, who who have who's uh, well, who who are the people or you know art artists creatives that have inspired you? You know, like mentors, heroes, that kind of thing. Uh, people who have helped pave your path, both you know in choosing what style of music you want to sing um, and who you would ideally like to emulate, I suppose, in some way. Yeah, I think my, my love for pop music and just music in general comes from, um, my sister used to buy a lot of CDs of, uh -huh. of Jennifer Hudson and mm -hmm. listening to Jordan Sparks and Beyonce. So I grew mm -hmm. up listening to her CDs all the time. And, like, yeah. and I used to memorize all the words and I found myself doing this thing every day of, singing these songs mm. and i think one of the people that really made me love music and love fall in love with the emotions and fall in love with vulnerability through music was sam smith mm. and when he came out with the album the lonely hour and i used to play that song every uh the album every single day because i feel like it took out something inside of me that you know other music didn't yeah and it really paved the way in, in the way that i the way that I convey my message and the way that I tell my message. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, that's like one person that I really, truly, that truly inspired me. Mm -hmm. and, and tell us a little about um, how you got to the, the steps of universal music. Uh, it's by being consistent and just being, being consistent on social media, posting a lot of content, posting a lot of, um, I think a lot of people were really touched by the way I was singing okay. and I was in my room and I just started creating content and they saw my content going viral. One of my videos hit like what 12 million, 8 million, 8 yeah. million views on, on TikTok. Yeah, on no. TikTok and it was just like, oh my gosh, who's this guy? And I started getting a lot of emails. Dude, mm -hmm. do you want to sign you? want to talk to you? want to blah, blah, blah. And at that time, I was signed to Ambitious Entertainment mm -hmm. and Universal Universal had a relationship with Ambitious Entertainment. So it was kind of easy for them to talk to them and negotiate mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so then I got signed to Republic Records and Universal. So yeah. And, 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 and what's, what's the structure of the deal? Because, you know, there's that, that the, you know, certainly for for quite a while, you know, the, the major labels, you know, have been getting not necessarily flack, but, um, you know, that the, you know, 20 years ago, you, you, you couldn't really launch your own career on your own just because it was eye-wateringly expensive to do and prohibitive in so many other ways, whereas obviously now, um, you know, there's so many artists who are literally staying in their bedroom and, uh, and, and making music that way. What, what made you mm. decide you wanted to sign to a major label? I think it's, it's the network, the network yeah. that these major labels have and the knowledge they have of music that I certainly don't have, yeah. <laughs> don't yeah, yeah. have time to be looking into because mm. I want to I wanna also focus on, on, on bettering my craft and that's music and that's my core of my business. Mm. And I feel like when I start looking at when I start looking at other things, um, my business otherwise, then it just becomes just becomes a drag because I want to focus on the music and I want everyone else to focus on everything around me. Yeah. And it's always better to work with people because there's things that I might not see that they might see, and there's creating a brand. Yeah. Um, yeah. And there's aspects in the music that they might find that are working and not working. Yeah. And yeah, and obviously Universal and Republic Records are successful record labels. I mean, they have 
you have the biggest names, The Weeknd, Drake, Ariana Grande. Oh, one or two, yeah. One or two. Yeah. <laughs> You're in good company. I mean, you know, who, who knows? Yeah. Maybe they'll get you a gig with Ariana, you know, or Post oh, Malone or someone like that. Definitely, definitely. That's yeah. definitely going to happen. I'm just really yeah. excited for those moments. Well, I mean, let's talk about, um, you know, who you'd love to collaborate with, um, you know, if anyone. I mean, is there is there anyone in your kind of immediate on your radar that would be, you know, probably more likely to happen, you know, locally, I suppose. But, um, you know, a lot of South African artists have had, you know, success with working with people like Ed Sheeran and and, and the like. But, um, you know, where are you aiming from a collaborative point of view, should that opportunity show itself? I think one person that I would really love to collaborate with, and I think if I would make a song, oh, when, I make a song with this person that's going to change the world. It's Adele. I think mm. I think both of us have um, incredibly um, emotional approaches to music. Mm. So I think once we get together and we create something, I think it's going to be great. Mm. It's going to be mm. amazing. So are you are you writing your own songs or are you working through a songbook? Um, I'm definitely writing my own songs as well as working with other songwriters, collaborating. Okay. Okay. As well, yeah, I'm learning a lot. Okay, and what's what's the plan? Um, yeah, you know, is it more a, a single strategy at this stage, just to drop drop singles and then? Yeah, it is a single strategy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not I'm not I'm not planning on releasing an album anytime soon. Kind mm. of like I'm also establishing my sound, establishing my brand, kind of who Luisa is. Mm. Um. Yeah, and finding myself. How would how would you describe your thought? Uh emotive, inspiring, um, definitely a reflection of myself mm -hmm. and always motivating other people to be them but be best selves. Mm -hmm. And you you've yeah, I think that's you've, you've done a good, you know, you've done a great job so far in kind of establishing an identity for yourself you know, using the power of social media, um, you know, I think in a, in a very effective way and understanding, you know, the, the power of it all. <clears throat> and it's a, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it, it's a space that it, you need to respect um, if you're going to, you know, um, get the kind of attention that you, you've gotten. And that, that obviously what people are enjoying about what you're doing is that there's a level of authenticity that that's reflected in in the work that they're hearing and you know and just in your approach you 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 come across as somebody who you know hasn't drunk all the kool-aid yet and you know um, oh, yeah. and hopefully you never will um you know because it is difficult to stay grounded uh you know when you've got 12 mm -hmm. people you know who, liking you on tiktok you know so it's a you know it's a it's a fraught space but I suppose the question is, who who do you turn to um, to keep you grounded and motivated? Definitely my family and, and friends. I think everyone that surrounds me is just absolutely incredible. And I think mm. they, they understand me and they will always see something that if there's something off, and I'll be like, hey, dude, mm. come mm. back, come mm. back to earth. Mm. Um, mm. Keep, keep, keep your feet uh, on the I ground. Just like that. <laughs> yeah, and I like yeah. and I like that. I like having those people in my life, those genuine people that really truly know me. Yeah, truly understand me. Yeah, you will come across a lot of people who will look to bleed you dry. So I think it's important to to keep your people close yeah. because they will keep you safe. Yeah, um, and it must be it must be a great place for you to be. I suppose not to kind of gutter it's your great. gutter your family and say I told you so. You know, I told you I would do this. <laughs> it, it it must have been lovely. Um, and I'm, I can only imagine that they're extremely proud of you. Um, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I think um, I got a call from mom the other day. She's like, dude, like, you never, I, I never understood this thing of not having a plan B. And mm -hmm. you really showed me that um, if I'm busy focusing on other things, and I need to put my head on one thing and mm -hmm. I'll achieve it. Mm 
Mm. I was like, yeah, that's the that's the lesson you're learning from me. <laughs> <laughs> you can see now you're learning lessons from me. Um, so I think she also learned something from 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 the whole thing of me having these arguments about her with her mm. and telling her that this is, this is what I want to do and there's no turning back for me. Mm, mm, mm. So 2022 um, looks to be an exciting time. I think it's fortunate, I suppose, in, you know, in, in many ways that what's happening to you now on the back, hopefully, of, you know, the last two years, um, I think there are a lot of artists whose careers were just about to take off when the pandemic hit and, you know, a lot of them have been lost along the way. Um, whereas yeah. you're in a, an interesting space now where people are so keen to get out and, you know, uh, you know, get back to, to live events and get back to that kind of reality. Um, I mean, obviously that as much as recording is one aspect, the live thing for you and having cut your teeth, you know, at, at, at the idols bootcamp, um, you, you're kind of, um, ready and fit you know, and train. Yeah, I, th I think so. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I'm excited. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. um, as long as, as long as I'm going to try my best to take care of my voice because I think there's a lot of performances that I'll be doing. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really excited that now everything is looking brighter and COVID is, the pandemic is kind of, kind of coming down. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll be traveling to the States and all of that. So it's going to oh, be exciting. Oh, that's very, very cool. When's that going to happen? Um, between the end of this year and, ne and next year. Oh, very, very good. I mean, it, I mean, that's mm. that must be something where you kind of go, okay, you kind of pinch yourself and go, okay, th this is really happening. But have you got any kind of expectation of 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 what to expect when you when you get to the other side? Um, no, <laughs> actually, I don't know. I'll, um, I'll see you when, when I'm there. I think also, I feel like I'm going to be so homesick. <laughs> um, but I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to indulge in the cultures. It's going to yeah. be different, very different experience for me. Mm -hmm. um, meeting new people and coming from South Africa at the mm -hmm. bottom of the, of, of the, of the earth the too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be very interesting to meet new people and to make music with amazing musicians. Is that the intention? Yeah. Uh, the intention is to go, to go there to record? Yeah, I think the intention is to just make music. Okay. Music, thing is, that's the core of it. Very good. Well, again, maybe, mm. maybe you'll get your wish. I mean, I think by that point, Adele will be on tour, um, touring her, you know, her- Yeah, her she'll album. be doing her thing. Mm. I mean, if, if anything yeah, bad, I'm she gets to see her live. <laughs> Yo, that would be amazing. <laughs> be amazing. And, yeah. And 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 just one last question before I let you go. Um, it was quite funny when I got this brief. I thought I was speaking to one of the Bala brothers. Um, not to say that I didn't know you, but um, obviously that must be a, you know, trying to tell people yes, there is more than one Ruiz. So you know, in you know, in South Africa, it's quite a common name, but not many in music. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think oh I feel like it's just been a whole thing because even on, on Spotify and Apple Music they confused me with the Loi. So so that's how my name is spelled with a double L, not yeah. just Loi. Yeah. So yeah. the way that it's normally spelled. That's why you got 12 million views on TikTok. That's actually what <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah, people are just yeah. The people hey. will just be confusing us, but now that, that's, that's cool. Just, no, no, just, yeah, I'm joking, but I think he's yeah. he's got into the world of business. I think for the most part, anyway. So I think uh, you're safe. But uh, who knows? Maybe you guys just for fun, you'd land up doing a duet together at some point, just to just to maybe kill maybe once maybe. And for all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a lot more confusion. Yeah. No, excellent. But listen, thanks for your time and all the very, very best. I don't think you need uh, me to wish you well because um, I know the I know the, the the very good people 
at um, at Universal, I've had the the good fortune of working with the likes of Kevin um, and with Rashika on the PR side. Oh, they're amazing. They're, amazing. they're good people. Yeah, and they're very passionate. And to your point, you know, Kevin used to be my PRO when I when uh, he and I both worked at EMI a hundred years ago. Um, and he's he's worked <laughs> 100 years ago. Yeah, he's worked his way, you know, right up to the point that he has because he's got this wealth of knowledge. Um, and mm. what that means is that, you know, the mistakes that he's seen made in the past, um, he can keep you from and, and really fast track, um, you know, your, your, your journey. Um, yeah. And that uh, very few people can. So, no, you are certainly in the best company that if, if the world is going to embrace you in the way that they clearly are, um, they will keep you safe, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm very excited about that. Yeah, awesome. But listen, thanks again and uh, awesome. have, a, have a good rest of day and rest of week and uh, pace yourself because shit's about to get real. <laughs> shit's about to go down. <laughs> thanks, Jason. I really appreciate it. Um, have a great day. Yeah, you too, mate. Thank wow. you. Cheers, cheers. Bye.